I'm Chef Angie Reagan, and you saw me on Gordon Ramsay's Next Level Chef Season 1. Today, I'm going to show you how I make a grazing board. Stay tuned with me till the end, because I have my little secret finishings that I like to do that really makes your board next level. Now, we've got our great already sliced mozzarella. What we're going to do with these is we're going to give them a nice little chunky slice. Okay, so we have our basil. We're going to roll it up real gently, so you take your knife and you do a nice little julienne here of these little guys. And we're gonna put them on top of this little ice water here. So I'm gonna kind of start through the middle and I want to start building here and kind of make my middle stand up and go, oh yeah, that's gonna be yummy. And you wanna bring your greens over here that you got them nice and cool. And we're just gonna add that here so that when your guests grab a mozzarella and a tomato, they'll grab just the right amount, a little bit of basil there. Okay, now we're gonna do something really fun. There's salami roses and you wanna get a nice big flat one. And it's so easy, you just half it, you put it over your glass. What's important is that you meet it halfway and you just keep going around and around and you'll start seeing the center kinda of close up. Then you can give it a little twist and you have a salami rose. <laughs> I'm gonna take some of my basil and I'm gonna place it like it has leaves on it. I love the Borson cheese. I keep it in the full packet. I think it looks cute. What I like to do with my cucumbers, because the skin can be bitter, is I like to get rid of about half of it. So we just take this really lightly and just make like a small strip like that. But then I just go around and do that. Now here's a great place to use your crinkle cutter. Let's put our cucumbers like this. I think that would be so cute. These are great for your little uh, grazing boards. I love to dip an acorn squash in ranch dressing. I like to do them like this. And these little zucchinis are so good. They're baby zucchinis. Um, I cut them in half. Look how cute these are. And then they go so good with the carrots. And I think what would be really nice here is we can start laying these carrots down. Oh, look at that. So, okay, so we have a nice little veggie thing going on here. I love it. You can do your crackers any way you'd like, but the main thing you gotta remember is they gotta not roll off and they gotta stay. So you kinda might wanna squish them against something. And so you could add a few more and send these in a different direction so that the board like works both ways. Um, so we'll need a few more crackers and crackers make sense over here. So I'm loving these blackberries. Um, they give a really good seedy contrast to texture. Uh, it's just making those reds pop. Okay, I need something to hold my cute little tomatoes. I have these chocolate crepes. Oh, and they'll hold the crackers on there. So that's perfect. And don't be scared for things to touch. They're supposed to, or they don't look like they're piled up. We have some of this wonderful dried fruit, and it looks really great with the board because we're trying to build a little well for our tomatoes. Okay, now we have our little well we've kind of created over here. You want your little cauliflowers to be small enough to eat but big enough to grab. And you can just do some nice little slices like this and get you a few apples, tiny little pickled beet. The beets stain everything. So you just take it and you make a little flat surface and that way they'll sit on your board. There's a final touch. Is your salt right and is your acid right? Um, so on all my grazing boards, I make sure I have a finishing salt. Um, you can even add a little bit to your green apple and then the beets as well. The next thing you wanna make sure you do, because we did put a little caprese salad on here, you really need a little bit of lemon. So you just squeeze that there. And then definitely, definitely a little finishing salt. I mean, there we go, guys. This is an amazing board. We finished it with the acid and we finished it with the salt. And that's really what's next level. You really wanna subscribe and like. Man, amazing hacks and hints coming from Big Plate. Uh, so much fun.